Good morning. For those of you who have just been diagnosed with diabetes or those of you who just want to monitor your blood glucose levels, uh, this is a demonstration to show you how easy it is to test your blood. First, you will need a monitor, a lancet and its needle, and a test strip. Uh, all of these items come in different shapes and sizes depending on the brand, but pretty much all of them work similarly and you can get the gist of what needs to be done from this video. Okay, so the first step is to make sure that your hands are washed thoroughly so that you do not develop any infections. After you have those hands washed, we'll put the lancet together. So you have a lancet and its needle. So we unscrew to take it apart. And we put the needle in. Pretty much could figure it out and press down. So when you press down, the trigger is ready. Again, it comes in different shapes and sizes, but you'll pretty much get the idea. You need the needle exposed. So once you take the cap off and have the needle exposed, you put the lancet back together. This lancet has different levels. Some lancets don't have any levels. Uh, so I'll put this one in level three. It depends on, uh, it indicates how deep the, the pin will go into your finger. Okay, so uh, the ones that don't have the levels usually are the ones that go in the deepest, tends to pinch a little bit, but you know what, you get used to it, no big deal. Okay, so we put the lancet together. Now, uh, you could put it, you could prick your fingers in many areas. Uh, the most, the best way is really on the sides of the fingers. So uh, either this side of the pinky, which is popular, or the other side, or the ring finger on the sides. See, you got the gist, but not really in the center of the finger. That's not ideal, just the sides, the sides, okay? So you take the lancet, you choose a finger, I'll choose this finger, to this, uh, you go from the nail and then you go right to the side of it, not in the middle of the finger, but to the side. And now this button, and you press firmly onto the finger, don't be scared, and press the button. Now your fi the needle has gone into your finger. You don't really feel anything after. <laughs> well, so look, you see the blood is coming out. We do a little squeeze for a nice little glop or drop of blood. See, sometimes your finger won't want to take the blood out. In this time, this is when you put your monitor together because it's timed. And if you don't, um, you know, get the blood out in a proper time, the monitor can time out. So again, the one slot for the blood has to stick outwards. The zebra parts in this one will go into the monitor press firmly, don't jam, and then you wait for all of the settings to clear and that drop of blood. That's when you put the strip, just touch the blood. Don't like envelope it. And you see, it's going to read three, two, one, and my blood level is 106. Okay, so again, don't have a flow of blood on your finger. Too much blood will overwhelm the strip and you won't get a proper reading. Notice that um, I only touched the top of the strip onto the edge of the blood blotch and then the blood is automatically drawn into the monitor and we just wait for it to stop and it gives you a proper readout. So just an, a note, it's best to check your blood regularly, but make sure that you definitely do if you feel strange in any way. Uh, 
throughout the day, whether you're sleepy, lightheaded, dizzy, or anything even slightly different in the way you feel, you test your blood. So in any time of the day, it's best that the blood level should be between um, 70 to 100, uh, to 100 minus a little bit elevated. Um, but if you've just eaten, uh, it's okay to be up to 160 uh, two hours after you've eaten. Okay, so try to keep your blood levels under 100 and that would be best. Okay, uh, also, uh, I don't change the needle, you know, every day um, because I make sure, I, I check my blood glucose level regularly and I make sure that my hands are washed thoroughly. So, you know, I try to save money on the needles. But if you only check sporadically, make sure that you test it daily. So this is how you take it out and then you just put another one in when the time comes. Okay, so that's pretty much it. And uh, you see it's timed out, but we already know that my blood was 106, a little bit higher. So I need to like, you know, exercise a little bit to get it down or, you know, just carefully monitor it. All right, so there you go. That's how you check your blood. If you need a refresher, just rewind and replay. Good luck, folks.